Good morning. How are you? Good morning, good morning, good morning, wherever you are. This is your girl, Yvonne Michelle, and it's morning inspiration. So for those of you who are just joining, um, welcome, welcome, welcome. And for those of you who are on the replay, do remember to leave your comments in the thread, and I will respond to all of your comments this morning. How are we this morning? It is a good day. It is a good, good, good day. Um, not feeling so energetic. I, I am feeling energetic, but I have I have a pain in my back, which I think is wind. So I just thought I'd share with that with you. <laughs> and I'll, just to let you know that, you know, what you see is a very ordinary person. All right. So we connect because we are the same, we're similar, and we go through similar things. But yeah, I'm a little bit way, but whoa, this morning I've had a rough night, but here we go. So, this morning, what I wanted to talk to you for Tuesday's truth because we are on Tuesday is about forgiveness. And the reason why I'm gonna talk about forgiveness this morning to keep moving, <laughs> try and get this, ease this thing out, um, is because I've had some correspondence and it, I'm getting more and more correspondence. Like people are sending me messages um, and asking me questions. And I thought this morning would be a good idea just to throw this in for Tuesday's Truth. Now, the question was on forgiveness. It was on forgiveness. And the question was, um, when you forgive, why do you have to still be around that person? Which I thought was a really bizarre question because that's not what how I know forgiveness to be. So I'm going to just share this because this is what I, I, I want you to think about. I want you to think about how you forgive others and how you forgive yourself because this is key to where we're going. This is key to the journey that we are on as people and as as trailblazers, as, as people who, you know, are ready to cause the disruption in, in, in our lives, but in our communities as well. And it's a disruption of change, a disruption of goodness. So, Guys, I want you to just hear me. Now, forgiveness is a huge topic. It is absolutely huge. But what I want you to listen to and hear me this morning. Right. First of all, you can forgive someone and yet not want anything to do with them. You can. It is possible. Right. People need to understand that forgiveness um, is for the past Re reconciliation and it is not for future consideration I'm just going to say that again right understand that forgiveness um is for the past reconciliation it is not for future consideration now forgiveness is about ourselves it's about it starts here what did I say last week everything starts with me Right. And that's a mantra for each and every one of us to say to ourselves, everything starts with me. It starts with me and it ends with me. Right. And so forgiveness starts here with me. So when you, when I forgive, it's not about the other person. It is about me. And I know that sometimes people say, oh, you know, you, you are you are, you know, being selfish. No, 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 no. This is part of self-care. This is about self-preservation. This is about self-worth. And we all need this moving forward. If you are thinking about starting a business or you've just started a business or you're in business, but you don't know where you're going or you're a bit stuck, this is key because if you don't forgive yourself, you're going to be constantly beating up yourself in here. And what have I been saying about this? This is mindset. These little things of the morning, this is about mindset mastery. These are little tools and tips and strategies for you guys to think about how you are manifesting and how you are moving things in your life, all right? So forgiveness starts with me first. I must forgive myself, right? I must forgive myself. You must forgive yourself for anything from the past, anything. There is nothing too bad that you cannot forgive. 
Forgiveness is something that sets you free. Forgiveness is something that gives you life. Forgiveness is something that brings brings happiness. Forgiveness is something that brings wholeness to your being. So you forgive yourself first. And then once you learn to forgive yourself, that's it makes it easy to forgive others. Right. I know. And I can I'm going to hold up my hand and I'm going to be honest with you because there's been people. Right. And I'm to be honest, there's been people who have really when I say stab me in my eye. So not even stab me in my back that I didn't see it coming. They stabbed me in my eye corner right here. And it hurt. It hurt. It hurt me bad. But I had to learn because when I was in that place of the unforgiveness and I was mad and I was angry, that unforgiveness was only hurting me. It wasn't hurting those people because then people gone about their business. I'm not even thinking about it. I'm not even a thought. So what I want you to do is understand who you are. Understand the gold, the gem that you are and learn to forgive yourself. And don't worry about what other people are thinking, saying or doing. You have to hold your corner. You have to hold it down and you have to hold your worth. Hold your worth in practice. Let me say that again, because this is a new one to me. You've got to hold your own worth in practice. That means that you've got to do it. You've got to do it. That's what it means this morning. So to answer the question about forgiveness, forgiveness is something that you do for yourself. Forgiveness is where you put yourself first. Forgiveness is setting yourself free. Forgiveness is giving yourself permission to be worthy enough to be and to feel worthy enough to be yourself unapologetically. Do you understand me? So today, this morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. For those of you who have just logging on, we're talking um, Tuesday's Truth is about forgiveness. It is about forgiveness. And it's one of the hardest things that we come across as people because people hurt us. People piss us off, right? Because, I listen, I'm just here to keep it so real, so transparent. And when I say people have stabbed me in my eye, not even in my back, in my eye, and it's hurt and it's pissed me off and I've been angry and I've been riddled with so many different emotions. And it's always them, them, they did, they did, they did. Actually take control, take responsibility for your part in everything that you do. Forgive yourself for your part, then forgive them, then move on. Three steps, easy. Yeah, you forgive yourself, you forgive them, then you move on. This comes from a question I get, uh, questions people send me, messages, and I just thought, you know what? People are messaging me and I'm messaging them back and I'm giving them the solution, but actually I could incorporate this into the morning inspiration. I can incorporate this into everything that I do. So I had a, uh, a got enough time, I had a uh, correspondence from somebody asking me about forgiveness because they were struggling themselves and they were like, how do you get over that? How do you move away from that? And, and, and you know, do, does it mean that you still have to be around the person? And I'm here to say, absolutely not. Just because you forgive somebody doesn't mean to say that they have to be your brethren. Once bitten, twice shy. Forgiveness is not about holding on to those people or holding on to the past. Actually, forgiveness is about letting go. Letting go with integrity. So you can forgive someone and yet not want to have anything to do with them, which is great. You don't have to have anything to do with them. People need to know, and I want you to understand, that forgiveness is for past reconciliation, right? In the past. It is not for future consideration. So you don't have to consider that in your in your future. You can um, look at your past and, and make the deal from there, right? Pete, forgive yourself. Um, and when you're forgiving yourself, let me just say this, forgive yourself for not knowing any better. All right. Cause sometimes we, we, we just walk into things and we have to be kind to ourselves, especially when we're going through the business of expansion. Ex- and ladies and gentlemen, we are going through expansion. Those of you are who are here with me this morning, we are all on a journey and we're going through expansion. We are beginning to spread our wings. We're learning what our wings are there for. It's like the baby eaglet. And I'll tell you about the baby eaglet on another day because time is far spent. But 
we are here on a journey and we are all moving in the same direction. So I want you to know to forgive yourself for not knowing any better right at the time. Forgive yourself for giving, for giving away your power. Because when you're in that issue, they're done it, they're done, and I'll never forgive them. How many times have we said that? I will never, ever forgive them for what they've done. I will never forgive you. If you can't forgive the one outside of you, you can't forgive the one inside of you. It's a process. If you can't forgive the one outside of you, you how are you going to forgive the one inside yourself? So come on, let's do this in the right order. Let's forgive ourselves and then forgive others and move on. This is what the word is for today. And now I'm just going to log on. I'm just going to have a look at the comments because I know that there's comments here. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, there are comments. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So I want to say good morning to everybody that's here. And it's taken the time to join. Oh, we've got some new people. Hi, Alison Thomas. Hi, Rachel Grant. Hi, Jackie Newville. Thank you for joining. Hi, Amina. How are you doing? Thank you, ladies, for joining me this morning for Morning Inspiration. I'm here every morning at 9 a.m. just giving you a burst of inspiration to start your day. So ladies and gentlemen, and those of you who are joining later on on the replay, forgiveness starts with you. And I want you to say that today, forgiveness starts with me. Forgiveness starts with me. Forgiveness starts with me. And I forgive myself for. And if there are things that you know you're holding on to, take a moment today and let them go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Because that thing is hindering you, stopping you, blocking you from moving forward. And it might have nothing to do with what you're doing, but you're holding something over here. If you're holding something over here and you've got something to do here, this thing is going to stop this. OK, so I want you to just take some time with yourself. This is all part of self-care. Self-care is all part of you growing into the business person that you want to be. Right. So it starts with me. Forgiveness starts with me and take your time. Right. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. You know what? I've just seen something on here that has really touched my heart. I'm going to put it up. Alison Thomas. Oh, gosh. It's brought tears. It's bringing tears to my eyes. Alison, not supposed to do this all. And she says, please forgive me because I know I've hurt you. Thank you, Alison. And you are forgiven. You're already forgiven. I've let it go. Guys, you're seeing it here first. Oh, my God. Alison. Alison, this is deep. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ladies and ladies and gentlemen, you've seen it here. This is live. This is this is not this is not something that we've spoken about at all. This is just something that's just happened. And I appreciate you, Alison. I really, really, really appreciate you for and being bold enough to do this on and write it on the feed and be here with me. Thank you. Thank you for that. Now, those of you who are watching, I just want to say this. This, <laughs> this is not scripted. Listen to me. We are, I'm a woman. Alison is a woman. We are both black women. And one of the things that I hear, I know I'm over time, but I want to just say this. One of the things that I hear us saying is how we pull each other down and that we don't support each other. But you see this right here? This is proof if in the pudding that things can change. This is proof that we are growing. This is proof that we are moving. This is proof that we are trailblazers and we are move, we're shifting some stuff, some crap out of the way, and we're moving forward to a higher dimension, a higher frequency of, of communication. For me, this is big, this is huge. This is huge. This has made my day. Alice said, I've always loved you. I love you too, man. I love you too. Yes, I love you too. I'm just, see, Alison's messages are coming up. Right. And then Rachel's saying, I rate and respect you. Listen, the love is real 
on the love is real right about now make room for the new yes Rachel I am so touched this morning I want to thank you for joining me and Alison I want to thank you for being bold enough being fearless enough and being authentic enough to do this live right here right now and you know what let's continue to grow together let's continue to grow together let's continue to be respectful and love one another I want to say good morning to everybody that's here. Astrid is saying good morning. Good morning, my darling. Uh, Astrid does a morning meditation. Um, and sometimes I have to leave a little bit early just to work things out. But Astrid does a morning meditation, mindset meditation. Very good. Join her on her page. Listen, guys, this is where we grow. We big each other up. We learn. We, we, we're doing this. Because no woman, no man, none of us should be left behind. We should be doing this together. So let's walk together in harmony. Let's walk together. Let's do better. I am so overwhelmed this morning. Out with the old and in with the new, Astrid said. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, I am over time. I will be back here at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Please do join me. And for those of you who are single, let me just say this quick plug, quick plug. After dark tonight, we are live on Zoom. We're in a Zoom room. We all join in the Zoom room. It it, it streams through Facebook and we are also online um, on Luton Urban Radio. So 10, yeah, that was between 10 and 12. Look, I'm all flustered because <laughs> Alison, thanks, love. <laughs> 10 and 12, midnight tonight, After Dark Conversations. We're talking relationships. Last week got a little bit, oh, got a bit spicy last week. It did, have to admit. So be there tonight. If you've never been, if you've never joined us, come message me. I will send you the Zoom room link. And if you know any single men, they are more than welcome. We are doing things differently. We are creating our own um, way of meeting new people. We're doing it differently. We're trying it our way, not the dating site way, but we're doing it more organically. So for those of you who are uh, willing and want to join us, 10 till midnight tonight for After Dark Sessions Conversations. Ciao for now. Much love to you. Love you all. And um, thank you for joining me this morning. Ciao for now. Have, have a great day and stay safe.